What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be walking you through how to create your very own portfolio website. Now we just completed our data analyst portfolio project series where we walked through four projects in SQL, Tableau, and Python. And so if you have completed those projects, you now want to share them with potential employers. And I think the best way to do that is to create your own website. In just a little bit, I'm going to show you two options on how you can actually create your own website. The first one is a website builder like Wix.com. And the second one is hosting your own website through something called GitHub Pages. Now, if you have never created your own website before, it can sound a little bit daunting, but don't worry. I'm going to walk you through every single step of the way from the very start to the very end. And once you reach the end, you'll have a complete data analyst portfolio website. So without further ado, let's jump on my screen and let's get started. All right, so the website that you're looking at right now is the actual website that we are going to build in this video. Um, it is hosted on GitHub Pages or GitHub.io. So this is actually being hosted right now by GitHub Pages. So if you type this in, I'll leave a link in the description. If you type this in, um, you will get this page and you can check it out for yourself if you don't wanna just watch me look at it. Um, so, you know, it has this little header and you can write a little bit about yourself. And then these are our actual projects. So this is our data cleaning in SQL project. Um, and then there's the COVID uh, data exploration, Tableau dashboards, movie correlation with Python. Um, this is a future video. I plan on doing a few more of these projects because I just really enjoy them. So, um, you know, and then there's this contact information at the bottom. So it's a really simple website and it gets the point across. And uh, I have something similar to this for my own personal one. I, I use a different variation, but um, this all comes from this website, HTML5up. There are lots of templates, lots of options that you can use. Um, again, the one we're gonna be working with is this one, but I use a different one for mine and they are really good. I mean, super easy to build and customize yourself. And I will say again, I have no experience doing this. I just watched a YouTube video that showed me how to do this. And now I am creating my own YouTube video to show you how to do this. So it's coming um, pretty much full circle. So like I said, there's no, no real narrative to it. It just clicks to your project. Um, if you click on this and let's just open a new tab, it'll take you right to our to the GitHub project. Um, and then you, the, the, whoever's checking this out, like a, an employer or a recruiter, can see your code. So super simple. Another way that you can do this is kind of creating your own website through like a template or something like that, um, almost like a blog style. So I imagine it being very something very similar to this, where there's this introduction and you can talk about, you know, where you got the data set, how you got the data. Um, and then you can kind of have a more narrative uh, approach with screenshots and with some code as well. So, you know, this person included screenshots, um, and then there's the code right here that I can actually copy um, and paste that. And it just walks through the logic of how the project was done. Um, there's a story to it, really. And so that might be something that you're interested in. Now, I have done something like this in the past, and I used Wix. And there's a free, you can do this completely for free. Um, the one we're doing today is completely free as well. But, you know, if you want the customized, um, the customized URL... You do have to pay for it on Wix, but you can get a free Wix website with the Wix um, in the URL. So, you know, try this out. These are super easy and you can find thousands of templates and a million tutorials on how to do them. Um, so that's not the one we're going to be working on today. So with that being said, uh, the very, very first thing that we need to do before we do anything is actually download Visual Studio Code. This is where we're going to download that HTML and we're going to be working with it in there. Um, again, I don't know if I said this before, but it seems a little bit intimidating at first, but once we actually start looking at it, it's a lot easier than it looks. I promise you. So if you are me and you have a windows computer, you'll just go right here. You'll install it. Um, super easy to install. I'm not going to walk you through how to do that. Um, of course I already have it up and running uh, down here. So once you have that installed, what you're going to do is you're going to come to this website. A link should be in the description. We are going to download this. All you have to cl click is the free download. It's going to pop up. I'm going to put it in my downloads. I'm going to click save. Fantastic. Uh, so let's go to the downloads and it should be right here. Now, if we open this up 
it has a few different things in it, okay? So um, I'm using the Brave browser, so that's gonna be right here, so that's just the symbol, but for you, if you're using Google Chrome, that should be the symbol there as well, but this is everything that you should be seeing. And what we wanna do is we wanna take it out of this um, zip folder, because it's uh, there are things that can read into it um, with Visual Studio Code, but I wanna make this as user-friendly as I possibly can. So what we're going to do is we're going to make create a new folder. I'm just going to call it massively, or you can call it um, port website, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to do port website. Um, and we're just going to, I'm going to copy this in. I'm not going to cut it in just in case I make a mistake. So I'm going to put all of those, um, all of those things in here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Visual Studio Code right here. And you should be greeted with this, um, this right here. And we're just gonna click Open Folder. And we're gonna go to Port Website, and we're gonna go Select Folder. And you're gonna say, yes, I trust this one. And right over here is all of the documents that we were just looking at. Now, the, one that, the only one really that we're gonna be working in, um, we'll work a little bit in the images, because um, I'll show you how to add your own images. The really the only one we're going to be working in is this index. So again, it looks complicated. Um, if you've never looked at HTML before, um, it does look a little bit complicated, but HTML to me is one of the more easily understood languages. Um, it, once you start kind of getting into it, which we're about to, we're going to walk through the entire process. It actually makes a lot of sense and it is pretty simple. Um, something that you're going to want is you're gonna want something called a live view. So like if I click right here and I click open with live server, you don't have that yet, I'm guessing, unless you've done this before. Um, it's gonna open up this website and this is what we're looking at right now. So it has a bunch of um, gibberish or some language that I do not know. And so we can view this live. Um, in just a second, I'm going to take myself off screen. But before I do that, um, Let's download or let's um, search for that that live. Um, I think it's called live share live server. Mm, let me see what this is called. Yeah, live server. So come right here. It's called this live server. There it is. Yeah, that's the one. So this is our live server. You just need to click install. It takes like five seconds and it should be completely installed. Um, what this does is it just hosts a local website. It's not something that anybody can access, um, but it connects to your code. And when we make updates, it'll make a lot. You can see it live. You can see those updates live. So I'll show you all that in a second. Just be sure to um, be sure to download that or install that. Uh, with that being said, let's get out of this. Let's go. All right, let's go back right here. Uh, with that being said, I am going to take myself off screen so that you can see everything that I am seeing as well. Um, it's been really great seeing you have lots of different videos coming up, lots of new projects. Um, I just, I really enjoyed the, this project series. I think I'm just going to do more of them. So, uh, all right, I'm going to get myself off screen. So let's look at what we actually need to do. So I'm going to, um, so let me see. Okay. So we're already connected to the live. Um, actually I got rid of it. Whoops. Let's, pull this over and let's pull that. And we're going to open and live server. So if we look right over here, and I know this is gonna be a little bit squish and I'm sorry about that. Um, but if we look right over here, this says this is massively. So you can change that, that's, that's this right here. And you can say, we're gonna say Alex, the analyst portfolio and we'll get rid of this massively. I'm gonna hit Control Save. You can also go up here and hit Save, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit Control S. So I hit Control S, and just like that, it updates on the website. Now again, this is just a local, so it's nothing that anybody can see, so don't worry. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through the entire process of creating this, and then at the end, I will show you how to host it on GitHub, um, and it's, Honestly, it's it's a fairly easy process. It just takes a little bit of time to customize it all. So let's get into it. So we have this, um, you may not be able to see it. Let me actually pull this up. So it says massively by HTP. We're gonna customize that, customize that as well. 
whoops, I don't want to do that every single time. I'm, I'm going to try not to go full and go back and everything like that. So we're just going to say Alex, the analyst portfolio. Um, control S and right up here at changed it. You may not be able to see it yet. Don't ask me that again. Thank you. Uh, right up here, you probably can't see at the moment. We'll see that later. Um, but it it customizes this um, tab, which is really cool. So let's go right down here. Now, this is where it says a free, fully responsive HTML5 uh, template. We can customize that. And I highly encourage that you do. So what you can do, and they actually included um, their Twitter handle right here. And you can do the same. If you look at this one right here, I included my Alex the Analyst uh, handle that, that goes to my YouTube channel. And you can do the exact same thing, include your LinkedIn or your GitHub profile or whatever you want to include in there. Um, and so, you know, be aware that you can do that. So let's say, um, oops, I need to click back in here. So we're going to say um, data analyst skilled in, and then the, again, don't write what I'm writing. Um, you can, it's, I'm just going to make it really simple, but you know, this part is meant to be a little bit about you um, as who you are. So I'm going to say data analyst skilled in SQL, Tableau and Python. And then I'm just going to get rid of all of this. Yep, yep, yep. Everything from here over and control S. And so super simple. Um, actually, let me, let me, where was that for? For here it is. We don't need that. Actually, we don't need any for anything from here over. Probably here, honestly. Let's see what that looks like. Um, and yeah, and I can, again, you can use any website right here that you want. I, and you can customize what it looks like. So I'm going to say Alex, the analyst. Um, and then whatever URL you want to include in there, that's what you need to put. So now if I save, oops, if I hit control S, so now it says Alex the analyst. Um, so pretty easy. Now we're gonna go down and you can use this however you wanna use it. I would, you can even make this, um, you can make this like one of your one of your readmes of like about you and put the link for that. I decided to include um, again, on this one, I decided to include the project that I thought that we've done that was like the most impressive or the, I don't know, the coolest one. I don't know if you consider data cleaning and SQL cool, but um, I do. I think it's cool. So I included that one as my very first one. So that's what we're going to do um, right here. So we're going to go down and it's going to say, let's say it says this is massively, that's not it. Uh, cool. So let's see what, oh, okay. I know what that is. We'll come back to this up here um, in just a little bit. I'm going to go full screen. I'll show you what this is and then we'll come back to it. But if we go right down here, this is our, what they're calling a featured post. And then the ones below this are posts. So in our featured post, um, I'm going to get rid of the date. I don't want them to know that I just created it. Like, um, I don't know. Oops. I keep doing, uh, Control A, selecting everything, whoops. So we're gonna say um, data cleaning in SQL. And we'll get rid of this and Control S. Again, I'm just updating it a lot so that you see what I'm doing and where it's going. And we're gonna get rid of basically all of this and go back and we're just gonna say, in this project, we clean data in SQL. We clean, let's do, we clean housing data in SQL Server. And control S. So super easy again. Uh, give a little bit more description. I did in my other one. Um, and you have the you have you can see that website, so go check it out. And then we'll have an image, and I'm gonna show you um, at the end, we're gonna go back and redo all the images, but I'm not gonna do that at this very moment. Um, so what we're, now you can have this full story. I chose to do view project. And if I hit control S, it says view project. I think that just looks better, especially if you're displaying a project. I think it is nice. Uh, now we go into all the individual posts. Um, actually, no, wait. 
what I want you to, I want to show you really quick is how you actually link it to this. So let's go right over here. This is our COVID, uh, that's our COVID one. Here's a data cleaning project. So all you have to do is take, um, take this website, so that's the URL, and you're gonna put it right here. Now there's three different places. This href is places, are, are places where you can put a link to a website. Um, and on here it references this right here. So you, you can, they can click on this data cleaning in SQL. They can click on the image um, as it, cause you know, this href is right next to this image. They can also click on the view project button. So you can put it in all three um, and you'll just go like this. You'll, you'll stick the URL right where that um, hashtag or pound sign is. And then we're going to save that. Oops. Oh, I, I, this is embarrassing. I am not a website. I am not a web developer as you can see. Um, but then if I go in here and I cl right click and I say open link, it is going to take me to that project. So super simple. And we're going to do basically that for all of these. Um, I'm only going to show you three and then you can do the rest, but I want to show you how to also do the, um, put the tableau. It's the exact same thing, but you know, it's different. So I wanted to show it to you. So the next one that we're going to do is go down to posts. And uh, again, I'm going to get rid of this date. You can keep that in there if you want. Excuse me. And that's totally fine. Just update the date. Um, this is that said magna. Again, I think this might be like some language that I just don't know about. Um, the next one is data exploration in SQL. And I'm going to get rid of this. And we'll save that. Perfect. And we'll do view project. Cool. And yeah, so now we need to um, customize this summary. And so I'm just gonna say something really simple. Um, data exploration of COVID-19 data set in SQL Server. There we go. Let's save that. We have view project. Now let's go get our project. So this is the data exploration. We're going to take this. We're going to copy it. And we're going to put it right in here. And right in here as well. And if you want to, you can also include it right up here. So we have it in all three places. Uh, again, once you click on these, they will come up. Let's go to the next one. We're going to get rid of this. This one is going to be our Tableau projects. So actually, let me just copy that while we're here. This is going to be our Tableau projects. So if you have one specific project that you want to include, what you would need to do is actually go in here, click view, grab that URL. What I am doing is I am just sharing my Tableau public page. So if you have tons of projects in here and um, you want to display all of them, then, or you want them to be able to see all of them and go and pick and see and choose what they want to look at, then just choose this URL that we're choosing right here. So um, in here or on in the um, HTML, we're going to put, I'm going to put Tableau projects and let's go like this. And then we will get rid of uh, that hashtag, the pound sign, whatever you want to call it. And we'll hit Control S. And oh, we gotta do the um this as well. This is my oh, this is gonna be a terrible, don't use this. This is my tableau. This holds, oh, I'm just gonna this is bad. This holds all of my tableau dashboards. Don't please don't do this. Um I am doing this because I don't want to take forever in a video to make it perfect. Um, and then, you know, you're going to do the exact same thing. So in this one right here, I included four. So I'm going to keep four. Um, uh, let me do the last. Uh, no, I'm just going to do these three. I'm not going to take up more of our time. Um, so we did those. I'm just going to keep these three in for visual purposes. But once you get down here, um, you know, what we're going to do is delete some of this, right? 
So we this is our data exploration. And where's our Tableau? This is our Tableau right here. So Tableau projects. They're separated by these articles. So what we're going to do is go around right here. And we're going to go down, 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 down to right here. This is going to get rid of all these other articles or all these other what they're calling um, posts. So we're going to get rid of those. And we're going to hit save. And now, as you can see, we have our header, we have our first project, and we have our second and our third. I would include those other projects that we've done in here so that it looks good. This is this footer right here. We don't need that because we don't have any um, anything else in there. So we're going to get rid of that as well. And now we just have this information. Now, I don't have anything where they can do the name, email, message, or you can keep that in there if you'd like. Um, but I am going to get rid of this. So we're going to go right here. That's the section. So don't delete the section. We want that. I'm going to delete this footer section is what they're calling it. And now we have this address, phone, email, social. Um, and I'm going to get to the social in just a second. It's, uh, again, super easy. But for the address, I just put location. I don't want to give somebody my address or put it on a website anywhere. Um, it's not something I want to do. So what we're going to do is just put, I'm going to put Dallas and Texas, and we can keep it like that. And we'll hit, oops, we'll hit save. And it'll have Dallas, Texas. Um, I hate the look of the zeros, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. So we're going we're gonna to do that. Phone number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. And then email, and we'll put, Alex, the analyst, 95 at gmail.com. If you have issues with this, um, you can email me, but I'll try. I will try to respond to all your emails. I get a lot. Um, so I will do my best, but that is my actual email if you were curious. Now um, now that we have this, we also have these the social media. Now I want to display my LinkedIn and I also want to display my GitHub. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to go over here and do LinkedIn. Ba, ba, ba. Perfect. Let's go to this. So I'm going to take my LinkedIn URL. And I am going to get rid of these first two. Because I'm only going to include two. And for this one, I'm going to do uh, LinkedIn. Oops linked in and then for right here i'm going to replace that with linked in and what you're going to do is put this link right here and then we're going to go get to get the github uh, so let's do github oh whose is this sign up what is going on um i don't there it is. let's just go back here i don't know that was something i was like viewing a while back or something um, so we're going to take the GitHub and we're going to put that right here. So it already has it as um, the GitHub. Is this supposed to be lowercase? I think it is. Let me see if this is lowercase as well. Yeah. Um, so do it like that. Do it lowercase. Uh, I forgot that that was how they did it. Um, and oh, that's the label. That doesn't matter as much. But this right here is the class is actually the important part. Because then when we go back here, there is no LinkedIn image, but when we save it, oops, when we save it, it has the LinkedIn image because it's already a class that was created in this HTML um, template. So we have that. Um, and let me bring this full screen really quick because there are a few things that we couldn't see in that, that screen. These right here are things that we could not see before um, and these as well. So what we can do is we're going to go down here. We're just going to copy these social. We're going to replace them right here so they can have those. And then we're going to get rid of these two right here. And this says this is massively, um, and we're going to change that as well. Let's make this full screen for the first time. Feels good. Um, I, I hate doing split screen, but I do it for you guys. Um, <clears throat> so this is massively. And we're just going to put, we're just going to get rid of these two. This is um, it's called the navigator, the, the different tabs. We're going to get rid of those two tabs. And then for this, I'm just going to call it projects. 
and I'll once I once we go back and update all of this, then you will um, you'll see those changes. So let's see. So we made those changes. Here's our social or the social medias, uh, social media stuff. We're gonna go and copy these two, and we're going to replace all of these with this. Um, <clears throat> And let's save that and let's go back. So now, as you can see, those two are gone. This says projects. There's only two right here. And if you click on it, it's going to go to my LinkedIn or your LinkedIn when you do it. Um, and this will take you to the GitHub. So it is all working as intended. This is great. Um, when you scroll down and it says massively, we can change that as well. And we should. Let's do that really quick. Um, we'll just say... Alex the analyst and we'll update that and there we go so in a nutshell this is all the a lot of it um we need images and I don't think I set this up for this video so I'm gonna I'm gonna like cut myself off for like two seconds go pull those images in um because it could take like a few minutes I don't want to waste your time and then I'll come back so I'll see you in two seconds all right, so I just pulled over the images that we are going to use. Let's go to the downloads. Um, they're right here. They're the housing, Tableau, and COVID. Um, if I open up this COVID one, this is what the image looks like. This is what we're going to use uh, for that COVID project. So I'm going to copy these. I'm going to go into the port website um, that we just had. I'm going to go to images, and I'm going to insert these in here. So now that we have those images in here, let's go back and... Let's see what we got. So we just put these images in this. Um, you'll have this folder right here and you can open it up and you can see all of these that we have. So all we're going to do is go and replace the images, these, these you know, um, temporary images that they had for us and we should be golden. And then we're going to actually upload it to, to GitHub and then create our website for free. So let's go right down here. This is our very first uh, one, this is our data cleaning in SQL. This is with the housing data. So this image right over here, it says images slash pick 01.jpg. So uh, JPEG, I don't know why I said it like that. So this is the housing. So what we're going to do right here is do housing and it'll auto complete for us. Um, so that housing should be in there now. Next one is the data exploration in SQL. That was with the COVID. So we're going to get rid of this. I want to say COVID because um, that is the image that I have right over here. And then the last one is, excuse me, Tableau. So let's go right over here. Let's do Tableau. Let's get rid. Oh, I got to save that. Uh, Control S. Perfect. And now let's look at it. There you go. There you go. Oh, this one still says full story. Go change that. Um, I'm going to go change it. It just doesn't feel right. Uh, view project. Ooh, that's not how you spell it. <clears throat> okay. Control S. Perfect. Okay. So now this looks a lot better. Um, and when we host it um, through GitHub pages or GitHub.io, this is going to be what it looks like. I mean, it is, and you can add a lot more to it. You can take away from it. You can add as many projects as you want. You can keep adding and you can copy those articles or those posts and you can just keep adding them. Um, so this is kind of what it's going to look like. And it was not that hard. I don't think, I hope this was not too difficult. I really don't think it is. Um, it's really just using a template and kind of understanding a little basics of HTML. So um, we are going to take this and we, we have this saved already. We have this all saved. What we are going to do now is upload this to GitHub. So let's go right over here. Let's go to here and let's go to repositories. And how do we, where, where's the new one? Oh, I need to sign in. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this part so you can't see it. So we are going to say a new repository. We are going to call it Alex the Analyst 2.github.io. So we're going to write it just like that. It, you know, if your name's um, Alex Jimmy. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I said Jimmy. Alex Jimmy, Alex Jimmy.github.io. 
um, you can always go back after the fact and change this. So it's not a big deal whether you change it or not. And we're going to create this repository. We're gonna say upload an existing file. And instead of choosing them, what we're going to do is just go right over here, go to this, and we're just gonna copy this in. Or not copy it in, but drag it in. Okay, so we're gonna take this, drag it in right here, and it can take, a, it'll take a little bit. It says 75, <clears throat> but it shouldn't take that long. And let's just wait for it. I was taking a sip of water, I apologize. But it is literally uploading just everything that we had in there. So all the updates and all the changes and all the stuff that we um, had. And it looks like it's done. So let's just write initial commit. Commit changes. It is processing it. All right. And it should be done very, very soon. As long as I have a good internet connection. We shall see. <clears throat> Stick with me. It's taking its time. Um, while it's loading, let's go over to, oh, oh, there it is. So perfect. So here's everything that we have, has this readme that it generated. Let's go over to settings. And we have this um, github.io. And if we go right down here to GitHub pages, pages settings now has its own dedicated tab. Let's check it out here. So it is um, it's currently disabled, but we're going to say we want it to do pull from the main. Um, I think it's the docs. We'll see. I'm going to save this. Your site is ready to be published. Let's open this up. Uh, okay, site not found. Maybe it's from the root. Save. Um, your site is having a, build, a problem. Let me see if I can actually change the name. I already have an Alex the Analyst, but I'm gonna, see it's already taken. Um, I'm just gonna try this one one more time. Oh, and now it's working. Uh, I have no idea why it uh, didn't work before. But this is fantastic. It was giving me all this, I was maybe I was just reading too much into that. I had, I had never tried to create another um, .io or, or GitHub pages on this. So anyways, thanks for sticking with me through all that um, stuff. So. Now we have our actual website. Um, it doesn't look the same up here because of that thing that we were just looking at. It should just be this part right here. But um, this is an actual website now. It's being ho hosted through GitHub and it's completely free. If you want to pay, you can hide this from your GitHub. Um, your repository has to be public. Uh, something I didn't mention, when you're doing this, your repository has to be public. Um, if I change the visibility to private, um, you will not be able to see it anymore. You'll have to then pay if you wanna make this repository private, you have to then pay, I think it's like $4 a month or something like that. So worth looking into um, if you don't want to display that on your GitHub, worth looking into, but this is our final product. I mean, it looks pretty fantastic and you can use any of these templates, right? There are lots of different templates that are fantastic. I mean, they look amazing. They look professional. Um, it's really up to your style. Like this one looks kind of cool, a little bit um, edgy for, for my taste, but uh, this one looks really good too. Might, might be able to add some more narrative to that one. So again, go through it, make, your, make a good choice in it, and then update it how we updated it. Uh, I will include the, um, let's see, I will include everything that's in here and I'll keep this on my uh, on this GitHub so that you can go in there and if you want to download these images, you can download the images that I used um, or you can go find your own. Just, um, you know, look for, try to get like HD images on Google. Just type in Google images and search for whatever image you want to search. Try to get an HD image. With that being said, that is the entire project. I, 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 I hope this didn't go too long. Um, this may have gone, you know, this may have gone like, 30, 45 minutes, but in the end of it, at the at the end, which is where we are now, we have an entire website, it was completely free, and I hope that you can now host the projects and you can create, create more projects. I will be coming out with more projects myself that hopefully will be interesting to you in the future. So with that being said, thank you guys for joining me. For you who stuck it out to the very end, you are fantastic. 
you know, send me a post to your website on LinkedIn and tag me in it because I love seeing um, you guys do the, these projects and this stuff. So I'm super excited to see all of these um, that you guys tag me on on LinkedIn and whatnot. So with that being said, this is it. I hope you learned something. I hope that it worked for you and I appreciate you watching. Be sure to like and subscribe below and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.